Kilavale Fried Fish Roasted Granite. This is from scratch, my beloved. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere. You will love this recipe. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, can I call you back in a few minutes? Yes. So give me just a few minutes and I'll call you back. All right, yeah. All right, yeah. Oh, hi, yeah. Hi, my beloved. Welcome back to Queen's Cuisine. My name is Queen Seal, and guess what we're making today? A Ghanaian delicacy that we don't joke with. This is Kilawale. It's kind of a dessert. And when you go back in Africa, this is really hot. You eat it really hot. You can infuse it with anything, any protein that you want. And today I am infusing mine with fish tilapia, fried tilapia. And just come closer and see this beautiful, amazing. So this is called kilawale. It's basically ripe plantain and then roasted granite and then fish. You can use gizzard, chicken, whatever. Now look, the uh, this thing is really, really. Look at this. Oh my goodness, this is amazing, Grace. You will love this. <laughs> If you want to know how to make this with my own twister, why don't you stay tuned? Stay tuned and let's go right into the kitchen and I will teach you how I make my own Ghanaian delicacy, Ghanaian recipe. It's called Kilowale. Stay to my The ingredients that you need for your Kilowale is your ripe plantain, your onion, ginger, pepper, cloves african nutmeg grains of salen black pepper and then your granite <laughs> stay to my below you will love this your granite and then the fish you need to wash your fish clean it and also you need your fish spices i've got all sort of mixed spices and then also salt and your olive oil to fry you first love thing first always make sure that you <laughs> clean your plantain or clean prep everything nicely clean it really really well with um, warm water before you start any other thing Peel your plantain really well and then cut it to your preferred choice. It can be square, round, however you want to cut it. Please do it. Now, please just add a little bit of salt. I always use uh, a pink salt, like half a tablespoon. And it depends on the quantity of your... Now, let's add the mixed spices. We've got here cloves, ginger, pepper, grains of salen. And make sure you mix it really thoroughly because we want the spices to infuse into the plantain. Yes! Oh, yeah. Use your cling film to seal it because we want all the aroma to be captured inside. We want, don't want anything else. If you don't have it, use your napkin. <music> Wash your fish and wash it really, really well. <laughs> yes, we don't want fishy smelling fish, so always use your lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, just sprinkle it around the fish and just take away all the odors, all the bad smell because we don't want fishy smell in fish. This way it will help it to smell really, really good. Trust me, beloved. <laughs> we're waiting for our fish let's go and blend our vegetables <laughs> it can be a bit stubborn at times so shake it shake it shake the blender blood just cut your fish or design it the way you want it so that yes now our fish is not completely dry so use kitchen paper or any tissue to um wipe the excess water now let's add a bit of salt for taste it has to go everywhere you have to really wash your hands well <laughs> so you can use your hand to rub it now i'm adding my spices and then if you add it make sure you put it through the head the chest everywhere we want in fusion to take place at this place like you went it we want a tasty fish a tasty tilapia that's what we want you are doing well my beloved use your cling film to cover and let it sit for one hour before we fry it let's get started with our roasted granite pour your granite in a clean bowl yes and then grab your salt about three tablespoons. spoons because we are going to soak it for some time. We want that tasty, that salty, you know how they do it in Ghana. Yes, so I've added my salt. Now add uh, cold water, about one cup. 
and then give it a thorough stir. Let it sit for about one hour before we roast. Use a kitchen uh, tissue paper or any tissue paper because we want the, uh, this thing to absorb every water from the uh, the granite. So I use tissue paper and then my roasted pan. And then this is how you're going to do it. I have drained the water from the granite. So make sure you spread it around the tissue paper because the tissue paper will help it to absorb it. At this stage, my beloved, make sure you spread your granite evenly because the motive is we want it to dry really quick. Yes. It's been two hours already and I'm convinced my granite is really dry. So I'm going to put it in my preheated oven for about 15 minutes and then back. Oh, can somebody smell that aroma? Gracious God, my granite is done. Now let's get started. Let's start frying the stuff. Oh my God. Oh, it smells good. Yes, my pan is hot. Everything is set. My oil is really hot. This is my tissue to absorb every excess oil. Now let's start frying it. Oh my goodness, the infusion. Did you hear that sizzle? Oh, that sizzle. <laughs> I want it brown, like really has to be crispy. So let's fry it for about 15 minutes, yes. But just do it the way you want it. Okay, my beloved. That sound, that sizzle, it kind of brings me joy. Oh my God. Yes, I want it really dark brown, but if you want it golden brown, you can take it, but I'm taking my time here because I want it really crispy. Now let's put it on our tissue paper because I want the paper to absorb the oil. I mean, you really healthy living healthy lifestyle so we want the oil some of the oil to go off yes now who is being naughty here tell me i've been chewing the killer willy already now let's fry our fish i'm using the same oil to fry our fish but i've seen it i mean there were particles and dark stuff i've taken it off and let's fry our fish for about 15 minutes on the low oh the aroma in my kitchen is something else it's done now it's been almost like 18 15 minutes now yes so let's remove our fish good we're about to eat babies <laughs> This color really has taken me to another level. This is so tasty and yummy. Trust me, the fish is crisps, granite, everything. Thank you so much for your love and support. God, Richie, bless you. If you're passing by for the first time, my warm welcome. Now, listen to this. This is crunchy. Oh my God. <laughs> everything is just thank you give me a thumbs up if really you like this video i love you to the moon and back bye